my name is Josiah Ray. I'm going to show you how to code HTML and CSS using Notepad. And this is a little bit tricky to do, um, especially with the linking going back and forth and the newer headers that HTML has. It can be done though, and uh, I'm going to demonstrate that for you right now. So I'm going to open up this folder here, and you can see I've got kind of a start going with the uh, these couple of uh, files. The important one here is the web page.html. Come up here into Notepad, going to File Open, go to my desktop, and open up my site. And down here, it's uh, just selecting the text files. We want to select all files. And our web page shows up. So we're going to open that up. I've kind of got a start going here. Uh, this, is, this is a really good idea to have this. It's just basically a standard head and the meta tags for an HTML document, so you don't have to remember that. I mean, honestly, looking at this, who can remember all of those symbols and everything? So I just got to start here, and I'm going to come into the body and make a new paragraph tag. And just type some welcoming text to visitors and close out the tag. And so I can save that. And if I come, if I come back into, into this uh, folder real quick and open up that page, it displays my text just perfectly. So we've essentially just created a web page using nothing but Notepad, which is pretty cool. We're going to close that out. And I'm going to open, I'm actually going to create a new document. So go new. And we can select just a text document for now. And I'm going to call this layout. I'm going to change the .txt to a .css. And it gives me a warning about changing the extension, but I'm going to ignore that. And you'll notice that it changes the icon and it recognizes that this is a, C, this is a cascading style sheet file now. So let's come back into Notepad. I'm going to open that up. And again, it only wants to view the texts. So let's go back to all files and open our CSS folder. So it's empty. That's all right. We haven't put anything in it yet. I'm going to link up a style to the paragraph tag. So let's put the P in there for the paragraph. I'm going to open up with a brace. And I'm going to just go down a couple, couple of lines and close the brace, just so that I don't forget for later. And we'll call this, uh, let's say, color and hash. Let's, uh, oh, I don't know. Let's do six eights. And we have to have a semicolon at the end. So we're going to save that. Now, as of right now, this won't do anything because we haven't linked it back to our website. What I'm going to do is real quick, I'm going to open up this layout.txt. And this is my little cheat sheet for linking style sheets in. I recommend that you have one because just like the headers, it can be hard to remember all the little things. And honestly, why would you have to? So I'm going to copy this entire line, come back to Notepad, and I'm going to open up that file again. Uh, my web page. <clears throat> so there we go. And inside of the head, but underneath the meta tag, we are going to paste that link. And inside of the double quotes for ref, we'll give it the name of our style sheet, which is simply layout dot CSS. And we'll save that. And now let's try opening up our web page and see if the text looks any different. Well, oh, there you go. The text is grayed out. So any place that we have the paragraph tag now, the text will be colored just like that. I hope you've enjoyed this quick video on how to create CSS and web pages using a notepad. I'm Josiah Ray.